Our airbox lid, made for the Yamaha 700 series motorcycles, will give you proven performance and it's easy to install, and I'm gonna show you how. Hey guys, it's Trevor of Dino Jet. I'm gonna be doing some pulls on this bike today to show you the power increase in the mid-range with our airbox lid. We have a Tenerary 700 that we're gonna be doing the install on. It's a pretty easy install, and all you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver for this bike, but with other 700 series models, tools may vary, and it might be a little bit more of a lengthy install. Now let's get started and get this lid on this bike. First step of the install is we're gonna go ahead and remove the rear seat. Place that off to the side. And on this itinerary, all we have holding on the seat are these pins on a stock bike. There's two bolts that are holding the seat on. Once that's removed, go ahead and lift up on the seat, pop it off. And now we're going to have access to the stock airbox. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the stock lid on the airbox by removing these four screws. Once you have those four screws removed, the lid will just pop off. Once you have the stock lid removed, we can go ahead and put our dyno jet lid on. You're gonna to wanna to look on the bottom of the lid and make sure that this cutout that fits over the filter is turned the right way so that the filter seats properly. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and put it on top of the air filter with the dyno jet facing towards the rear of the bike. And then go ahead and reinstall our four screws. Now we got the lid installed, we're gonna go ahead and throw the seats back on and get this bike on the dyno. Right, and as you can see in the dyno runs we just did, this is our horsepower reading over engine RPM. And we got roughly three to four horsepower increase throughout the whole entire power range. And then on our torque graph, we also increased roughly four to five foot pounds of torque through the entire mid range on this bike. And that's it. Our five minute install turned into a four to five horsepower and torque increase over the mid range. To me, it's a no brainer to install this on your bike. If you found this video helpful, you can check us out at dinojet.com and give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.